Lastly, but I would argue most importantly, it's my beautiful new wife, Flo. You've been with me through so many of the happiest memories of my life, and you've also helped me through the hardest time of my life, and for that, I cannot thank you enough. And I know that whatever life throws at us now, as long as we have each other, we'll be able to deal with it. I love you so very much. Well, as a welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brett, and I'm the uh, father of the bride. And um, it is my extreme, extreme honour and privilege to welcome you to Flo and Rob's wedding. Flo, I've got to take this opportunity to say you look absolutely stunning. I'm going to get a bit emotional now. You look, you look so, so unbelievably, well, not unbelievably beautiful, because you've always been beautiful. You've been a beautiful little girl, and you, Rob. You've not been a beautiful little girl, but you, um, <laughs> but, uh, I do appreciate it. And Flo, on behalf of, um, well, obviously myself, but also your mum, Sal, who's a few places along. Um, this, is, um, this is the biggest honour and the proudest of days, to see our little girl sitting there. When me and Flo first started going out, the inevitable questions were always, what are her family like and what's her dad like? And thankfully, I've always been able to answer that they've always been so wonderful to me. I've always felt so welcome from the moment that I first met them. And so I really do want to thank Sally and Brett and Joe for welcoming me into your family. I really appreciate it. As a family, we've been through some really difficult times over the last few years. And Sally, you've been such wonderful support to us all. So thank you so much. My dad, Stu, and obviously my mum, Sue, who's not here with us today. Dad, we've obviously become very close over the last few years. And whilst I wish the circumstances around that are very different, uh, thank you so much for all your help and support uh, for everything you've us growing up. I could stand here all day and talk about how much that my mum means to me, and I'm sure there are many people in this room that could do the same. But I know that my mum would want today to be a happy occasion, and I genuinely think that the only person that should cry today is me. Once when I saw Flo walk down the aisle, and once when I have to listen to these two best men do their speech after me. And I wouldn't be the person that I am today without my mum's love and friendship, and so I do want to raise a toast to my mum, Sue. I was trying to think of one particular story that summed up mine and Flo's relationships. So I thought of you know, the time we went skydiving in Dubai, the time we went canyoning in Spain. But unfortunately, both those stories are made up. They did not happen. <laughs> and I was struggling so much that uh, last weekend, I was sat on the sofa and I said to Flo, look, I'm really struggling to find a story that just sort of sums our relationship up. Have you got any ideas? And she said, no, I've got no ideas. <laughs> but. I work in insurance and I can spin anything to be a positive. I'm going to try and do it now. You'll all be the judges of that. For me, when we're together, it doesn't matter what we're doing or where we are. As long as we're together, we're happy. And arguably, to me, that's the sign of true love. Because if we could be sat on the sofa watching Gogglebox, and we do that frequently. <laughs> but that's when we're the happiest. We don't need to be skydiving in Dubai and canyoning in Spain. And luckily, we never will, so that's fine. <laughs> but that's a sign of true love to me. And so that's, um, yeah. It was the perfect example.